Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Vella and uh, yeah, I normally don't do these type of videos, but uh, I changed my mind. It happens. So I do have quite a few challenges to read this month and I want to take you through it. So let's start with Middle March. I will start this book um, mid-February for Classics and Company. Join us on the channel. Uh, I'll put a link down below and on the Discord. It'll be fun. And Kim is our VIP guest. Kim of Middle of the Book March, of course. A book that I really want to read, but it's not yet translated into English, but I want to read it for my Dutch post podcast, is by Norwegian author Lars Elling. Well, he actually, he's more of a, an artist, a painter. And this is his first, I think, first novel, The Apple War. This is a story about uh, Philip and he has to go to his granddad because uh, granddad has no contact anymore with the family. And finally, when Philip comes along and they really start to bond, finally granddad opens up and he talks about how he had to survive in nature as a part of his growing up and uh, yeah apparently it's a really really beautiful so i'm looking forward to reading this i think the premise is also very interesting novels written by artists such as painters or um, poets are often more rich in a way more layered and uh, yeah, it's always a blast. Then a buddy read, well, a group read with Lindy from um, Magpie Reads is this chunker, Vikram Seth, uh, Suitable Boy. This is my Dutch version. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward. So it's about a family. It's in the 50s, so post-colonialism. And there's a family who is looking out for uh, or looking for a suitable boy to marry their daughter and it is a unique way of talking about life in India uh, and uh, three are it's about four families the Kapoors, the Meras, the Chatterjees and the Khans and one family is Muslim and the other are Hindu and yeah, he brings post-colonial uh, India to life, apparently. I'm really looking forward to reading this, or buddy reading this, or co-reading this. This one I wanted to read for a very long time. It is the Friday Night Club, I believe. The Friday Night Club about Hilma Af Klint. Hilma Af Klint is a Scandinavian author, I believe Norwegian. Or Swedish. Not sure. Swedish. Uh, Stockholm, yeah, Swedish. Now, this is um, a, a very interesting woman. Hilma of Klint is supposed to be the first abstract painter. Uh, not uh, the others, not uh, Kadinsky, not uh, no man, but a woman. And she had a Friday night club called The Femme, I believe, which means The Five. Funny enough, it sounds like women, Femme. And it are five women that come together each week and discuss art and esoteric matters and all kinds of stuff. And yeah, this is about that. And I'm really looking forward to reading this. Yes. And then I want to read mostly dead things. It's about a family where uh, Jessica Lynn's father dies. Uh, he is a, 
uh, he he runs uh, he ran a taxidermy taxidermy business and uh, but it, it is failing and uh, the daughter is trying to yeah save the company and then the mother sneaks in and she makes very disturbing art with the with the dead animals and then yeah there's a lot of things going on and uh, the challenge of this book is how do you mend everything and keep a family together so yeah i'm really looking forward to this mostly dead things by kristen arnett yeah and then oh yeah um Hilma Af Klint is written and the Friday Night Club is written by Sophia Lundberg, Alison Richmond and MJ Rose. Sorry. And then The Word of Wo for Woman is Wilderness, a novel by Abby Andrews. This is the story of Erin uh, and she never went far from home. Um, and then she tr suddenly travels from Midlands to Iceland, Greenland, Newfoundland, on across the entire breadth of the American continent as Erin's one woman odyssey leads her towards a lonely cabin in the wilds of Alaska. She charge the changing landscapes of her own mind and reimagines not just a woman's place in society, but a humanity's place on planet Earth. So my buddy read with Ollie, it's almost a two year project. We are reading the whole catalog of Patricia Highsmith. So she, we started with her first novel and then the second and the third and the fourth. And this is, I think her uh, 14th novel. Yeah, 14th novel. It's called Dog's Ransom. And it's about a man at Reynolds, and he's an editor at a pr prestigious publishing house. And he receives poisoned letters, and he doesn't know who holds such a grudge. And then when he comes home, there's a ransom note. And apparently the dog has been kidnapped and on the ransom dog uh, on the ransom note it says i have your dog lisa she is well and happy i gather the dog is important to you we'll see so yeah really curious i love the prom premise yeah patricia highsmith always fun never a disappointment and then ordinary notes so February is Black History Month and I thought reading this one it is by Christina Sharp and it's ordinary notes so it is yeah all sorts of short notes that talk about yeah racism uh, yeah yeah about life also but also yeah it, it, it's really interesting um yeah I'm, I'm really really looking forward to this so yeah ordinary notes by christina sharp this is christina sharp she is a writer, professor and Canada Research Chair in Black Studies in the Humanities at New York University at York University in Toronto, Canada. She is the author of In the Wake on Blackness and Being, a landmark work that received widespread critical acclaim, including being named Best Book of the Year by The Guardian. Sounds great too. Yes. And then, a childish language or a childish literature. Yeah, that's it. Childish, childish literature. This comes out in October uh, of this year in English. It's by written by Alejandro Zambra. And this is his account of fatherhood, being a child, uh, communications between son and father and so on and apparently it's really really beautiful book and I love the cover he also wrote uh, the secret lives of trees if you 
can remember that book. So yeah, it's, a, it's more of a journal type of a book. And then I want to read The Ren The Ren by Anne Enright. I see everybody is reading this and I'm quite curious. So Carmel's daughter Nell, funny, brave and so much loved, is a young woman with adventure on her mind. As she sets out into the world, she finds her family history hard to escape. For, for her mother, Carmel, Nell's leaving opens a space in her heart where the turmoil of a lifetime begins to churn. Sounds interesting and I love the cover too. And then the last book is Foster Date Explores the Cosmos. This is a book uh, uh, written by, I'm sorry, written by Nash, Nash Jenkins. And I will read a part of the prompt. So when Foster Date arrives at Kennedy, an elite boarding school in New Jersey, the year is 2008. Barack Obama is on the cusp of winning the White House, Vampire Weekend and Passion Pit Bump from the newly debuted iPhone. Teenagers share confidences and rumors over BlackBerry Messenger and iChat. And the internet as we know it is slowly emerging from its cocoon. So too is Foster emerging. A transfer student and anxious young man, Foster is stumbling through adult adolescence, I'm sorry, in the wake of his parents' scandalous divorce. I hope this is good. So yeah. Foster Date explores the cosmos. So yeah, that's it. That's what I'm going to read. I think, I hope. Maybe more, maybe less. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful reading month. Let me know what you're reading down below in the comments. I always love to have new inspiration. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.